2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Waste Management Phoenix Open is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, really looking forward to some exciting play from our featured group today. This player has hinted at a rivalry with their playing partner this week. So it looks like they aim to beat Justin Thomas. Should add a bit of extra excitement to our coverage today, Henny. Oh, that goes without saying, Luke, but Justin Thomas will not be easy to beat. I don't think there's a more competitive man out there on tour. No, you're absolutely right there. He's a complete player. We'll certainly be interesting to keep an eye on this rivalry throughout the event. TPC Scottsdale, known for a bunch of birdies rich, and you can get right after them here at the first. A gentle opening hole, second shot, a good opportunity to get your iron play dialed in. Green is very small. Anything missing to the right and to the left will run off into a collection area. However, if your irons are dialed in early, it's a great opportunity to make an opening three. As we move along to the next hole, they're currently tied at the top of the leaderboard with John Rahm. The second hole at TPC Scottsdale is a mid-range par four, playing 442 yards from the tips. The bunkers on the right side need to be avoided, which leaves a good mid to short iron approach to a green that is bunkered front, left and right. So a good accurate approach required. That's some good golf right there. Wow, what a shot. What's in front of them, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. This for a birdie, birdie run. Ooh, right by the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, so close. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. The third here at Scottsdale plays over 550 yards from the tips. It's a strong par five, which requires two big shots to get to the green. The first shot needs to avoid that bunker on the left-hand side to give you a chance to go for the green. But if you're laying up, it's laying it back to a number between those two bunkers that sit on the left side of this fairway, around 150 to 100 yards out. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. That was wonderfully done. Putting for birdie here. Looks good. Wonderful shot. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. The par three fourth at TPC Scottsdale. A fairly straightaway hole, but bunkers again, front, left and short right, requires a pretty accurate and solid strike. Looks to be going with the six iron. Yeah, that one's looking good. Oh, right by the hole. And this player seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. She should be impressed with that. That's another putt that'll build on her advantage. Fantastic start right out of the gate. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. 
Ah, that'll affect the scorecard. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. The fifth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a strong par four, playing 470 yards from the back tees. There's a big bunker down the right-hand side that will catch any drive not hit with authority. The approach must be accurate with the bunker on the left-hand side. Anything just slightly missed here will be punished. Playing from around 160 yards. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? No, that's too bad. So, after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. The sixth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a solid mid-range par four. 432 off the back tees. Again, it's more position off the tee that's required here with the bunkers on the left-hand side. A bold play is to fly it over that bunker on the left and leave just a short wedge in. Bold players will get off this hole. The safe strategy lays back before them. This is beautiful to watch. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Little birdie look in here. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take her to five under. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. The seventh here at Scottsdale is a par three, a straightaway hole, but bunkers left and right of this green ensure that a nice straight shot is required. Opting for the five wood. Well, this one's right at the pin. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Oh, so close. A par putt awaits. The putt drops, and we're moving on. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole, Shame it didn't drop. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. The eighth hole at TPC Scottsdale is a very strong par four, playing over 475 yards from the back tee. There's a couple of pot bunkers down the left-hand side that need to be avoided so you can get to the green in two. If you're going hard here, there's a tree on the right-hand side that can prevent a good second shot or a line to the green. Two well-struck shots required to get to this green, and even then, your par's not secure. Oh, well done. And he's down there. Oh, she's got roughly 180 to this flag. This should play. Wow, what a shot. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Got to like their chances from there. Just three feet to the cup. Leading by nine strokes after that one. The finishing hole on the front nine at TPC Scottsdale is a par four, measuring 453 yards from the back tees. There's plenty of room off the tee to the left, just so you can avoid that bunker on the right. There's a bunker short of the green here that needs to be avoided, a short little pot bunker. But two solid shots here will allow a chance for a birdie. 
Going with the seven. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Oh. And just a supremely accurate shot from way out. Right at it. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's going to want to improve on that current fifth spot. Just didn't drop. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Putting for birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up, and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head-to-head. -head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Sitting at seven under, currently in the lead. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Looking great now. Ouch, that hurts. And back to the course with the live action. Four feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. An extraordinary performance. This player is now 12 strokes in front of the field. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The 11th is a par four playing 472 yards and a huge water hazard down the left hand side. The best line is a drive as close to that water without taking it on. Anything that leaves about 150 to 170 yards in will give you a chance to set up birdie. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Outstanding approach shot. Always nice to have a birdie putt. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. The 12th at TPC Scottsdale is a par three measuring 192 yards off the back tees. Not much to this hole except the bunkers left to be avoided. Although water can sneak in on the right up near the green if anything is slightly pushed. Well, that's a handy shot. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's well judged. OK, time to return to the action. This part to get to 10 under par. Oh, just missed. Big putt for par coming up. Currently nine under for the event. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. The 13th is one of the good scoring holes in the closing nine at TPC Scottsdale. It's a par five measuring 558 yards. Job one is to avoid that huge water hazard to the right or the tree on the left-hand side that juts out into the fairway. If you're clear, you'll have a chance to knock it up near towards the green or just laying it back to a comfortable yardage of around 100, 125 yards. A chance for Booty here to really ignite your charge. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. 
Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. A bit long on that one. This putt to get to double digits under the card. Ooh. Par putt coming up here. Well, what a shame. A free putt for par there. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Oh, that is simply brilliant. What a shot. I will take that also into the top five now. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. The 14th is a strong par four, almost measuring 500 yards from the back tees. The bunker that sits in the fairway should be covered. Anything around 190 to 200 yards out will give you a green light to go for this flag, although a four here never hurts. Oh, that was pure. Justin Thomas, major champion, world number one player. Really has all the attributes, doesn't he, Rich? He does. His focus on the, his own game is, is amazing. I, I think that this kid really understands how to play the game. He's got all the shots, but he doesn't try and get up there and hit it as hard as he can every single time. He gets out there and he learns how to play the game. Hit the finesse shots when you need it. Take some risks when you, ha when you need to, but also back off when you don't need to. This kid is a real deal, complete game from head to toe. She's currently in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. The 15th is a very important hole. The par five, 553 yards from the back tees. Either makes or breaks around here at TPC Scottsdale. That huge penalty area to the left is to be avoided if you're to make a decent score. A good drive will allow you to go for this island green in two. Although if you're too far back, no point taking it on as there's water everywhere to collect your ball. Laying up to the 115, 20 yard marker will give you just an easy wedge here and a chance to still make your birdie. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Absolutely love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Trying to get to 11 under with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. That'll sting a bit. Three feet to go here to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 29 feet from the cup. It's tracking. Now that's a bad break there, Rich. Just probably a little bit too much pace. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Welcome to the jungle, or as they call it here at TPC Scottsdale, the stadium hole, par 316. It's just a short club, but you miss the green, and a chorus of boos will ring out. <laughs> Setting up miles from the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. the right stuff there in she goes let's head to the next and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that two holes to go Luke I know who I like this dramatic finish of TPC Scottsdale has no shortage of options at the 17th rich 
If you've hit the driver but you miss the green, you got to miss it out to the right hand side to have any hope of getting it up and down for the birdie. However, you knock it on this green in one, you never know, you could make it two. Swing just outside seven feet to the hole. Oh, what a stroke. And with that fine putt, she extends her advantage over the field. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently in fifth place. Come on, let's make this putt. It's for a share of fourth on the leaderboard. Oh, that's frustrating. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The finishing hole at TPC Scottsdale requires a great drive. The big water has it down the left-hand side and the church pew bunkers make it a very difficult drive. Anything out to those bunkers on the right will leave a good angle approach. But once you hit this shot, make sure you get at the right area on the green if you're to make your birdie. Opting for the 9-iron. This is looking pretty good in the air. Oh, that was bang on target. Well done to this player who is able to tame TPC Scottsdale and walk away with the WM Open victory. And an impressive victory it was there, Luke, in front of 125,000 fans on this Sunday. That was impressive. And Henny, it goes without saying that this player dominated their rival today. Yes, Luke, no one could catch this player, let alone their rival. Well, that was a thrilling day. And on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for your company. We look forward to the next time you join us.